band of 1.5 inches so you're going to subtract one inch from the length of your trouser so if one inch out of 40 gives us 39 so you simply place your tape this way and mark 39 right and i told you the reason why i am subtracting one inch is simply because i am going to be using a waistband later on on this trouser right so if you make it 39 now when you add your waistband you get about 40 there about right so this is my 39 this is the full length of my trouser so i'm going to put a line there but i'm not going to stop there i will be adding 2.5 inches to that and the 2.5 serves as your hem allowance the folding in allowance at the hem of your trouser at the ankle right so i have 2.5 for that and then you simply put a straight line there make sure all your lines are straight like this so this is my hem allowance at the ankle now we return back to the waist our waist to hip is eight inches but again i will not be marking exactly it i'll be marking it seven the simple reason is because we are still going to add a band so when we add our band it becomes eight so my waist to hip seven see it there the next thing i want to take is my crotch depth that is the waist to the crotch depth we have it as 10 inches here but again i am using the waistband so i'm going to subtract one inch from that and make it nine you see so your waistband affects all your vertical measurement the same thing happens to the waist to knee another vertical measurement we have it as 21 but i'm going to subtract one inch for that because of my waistband i'm going to mark it at 20 so that when i fix my waistband i will get exactly 21 so this is my hip line a straight line there this is my crotch depth a straight line there this is my knee line like this and all of this is affected by the band right so we have this let me call this hip waist this is our crotch cr this is our knee k there and this is the full length right now now that we have this we can now start our draft properly and what do you want to do the first thing you want to do is to go to your waist take your waist measurement and you simply divide it by four before you apply now the simple reason is because when you go to the waist region of your trouser it is made up of four pieces two pieces at the front two pieces behind so we simply divide waist by four right so our waist divided by four 30 divided by four gives us 7.5 7.5 so this is how to apply it you simply go from this line here this is our trouser block line on the waist you simply go in by half inch like this and then from there you can measure your 7.5 7.5 like this now this is a general video for my general audience for my students those of you who are my student you can do your waste allocation please if you know about waste allocation you can do your waste allocation now for those who know about waste allocation you know that your front waist is supposed to be slightly bigger than the back waist because of your tummy so you can do that but let's just proceed with this simple beginners approach right let's not complicate issues so we have our waist divided by four simply waist divided by four please and before you apply that i said you should go in here by half inch then my waist divided by four is 7.5 you can see it there this will be connected to our hip line this is our hip it is already divided by four you remember the trouser block is equal to your hip divided by four so the hip is already divided by four here and that is what we have here so this waist measurements are going to be connected to this right so we leave the hip for now we go to our tie my tie circumference is 24 now if you check per tie the tie is made up of two pieces so it's going to be 24 divided by two one tie of your trouser is made up of two two pieces the front and then the back so 24 divided by 2 gives us 12 and this is how to mark your 12 now you can mark your tie just slightly below your crotch depth you can go for one inch or 1.5 inches below your crotch depth so you mark your tie 
so this is how to mark the tie from this half inch my tie divided by 2 is 12 this is 12 here right so you're going to push your crotch depth line to reach that point there because we'll be joining the tie to the crotch depth like that there now you are to go and pick the midpoint of your tie remember our tie is 12 and we measured it from this half inch here the midpoint of 12 is 6 you take this midpoint all the way down right so i still have my 12 here and the midpoint is 6 i have my 12 here and the midpoint is 6 right so you connect this midpoint down and we call this the plumb line like so now if you are my old student you will see that i have changed the location of my plumb line the plumb line in my previous trouser video i used the center of the trouser block right but in this case it is not the center of the trouser block it's the center of the tie right this is going to give you a better effect than when you use the center of your trouser block right so you have to correct that if you are watching this both of them work both of them works perfectly but this is kind of better it's going to give you a better effect right so we have this now the reason why we are bringing this line we call it the plumb line plumb line p l u m b line we call it is a plumb line and the function of the plumb line is to help us to centralize measurements you're going to see that happening on the knee and the ankle the plumb line helps you to centralize measurements now let me show you for instance here we have a round knee knee circumference of 18 now if you check the knee section of your trouser it is made up of two pieces so this is going to be 18 divided by 2 18 divided by 2 gives us 9 and this is where the plumb line comes into play this blue line here your 9 inches this is how to apply your 9 you're going to place 4.5 on this side of the line and another 4.5 here that gives us nine right this is the function of the plumb line this helps you to centralize the measurement on the trouser so that your trouser will not twist to one side right it will stand down straight this is the function of the plumb line so this is my knee circumference here which is 18 divided by 2 and i centralized my nine i gave it 4.5 here 4.5 here we go to the ankle my ankle circumference here is um, 14, that is my round ankle 14. And if you go to the ankle of your trouser again, you will find out that it is made up of two pieces. One piece of the front, one piece.